Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and we are in Be Quiet Suite at CES 2015. First a note, all this content is brought to you by CyberPower's new Cyber Vapor gaming console. And today we're looking at the Dark Rock TF, which is, it stands for Top Flow. There's also a Dark Rock or a, a Shadow Rock LP and a new case that we're going to be looking at. We'll start with this because I think it's the coolest. It's a Big cooler, so it's definitely meant for a higher end build, and that is emphasized by the fact that it has a 220 watt TDP. So as many of you know, the AMD 9000 series CPUs are shipping at 220 watts. It doesn't leave a ton of room for play, but it's one of the few coolers on air that will actually support that. Beyond that, we've got two 135 millimeter fans here. They are uh, dynamic bearings, fluid dynamic bearings, and the fans use six poles, so uh, they're magnetic poles on the fans. Normally you find four of them in your average fan, and that's just how many times uh, the, the points of engagement for the fan as it spins. And having more poles means uh, it's, it's basically going to be a little bit quieter, up to 30% we're told in many use cases. But we'll test that shortly. Beyond that, the bottom fan can be removed if you want to cut that out and leave some room for... Uh, for bigger memory if you don't have lower profile memory so that's a much desired feature and then there are six copper heat pipes they're all nickel plated and the cold plate is nickel plated as well you've got an aluminum sink with black fins moving on to the shadow rock lp this isn't too crazy it's it's basically just a low pro profile cooler and it's got a high tdp uh, of 130 watts so you can support basically any cpu you would be putting in an htpc build and, and even some overclocking play if you're doing something with a G3258 or something like that. It is using a normal uh, Wayne's fan from Be Quiet, and it's just a 120 millimeter fan with, uh, with a couple of heat pipes over here. You've got four heat pipes and then the low profile setup so you can fit it into a smaller case like one of the Silverstone SG09 or something like that. Next, we're gonna move on to the case. And now with the coolers behind us, we're looking at the Silent Base 800, which is a new case that we posted a news announcement on a couple of weeks ago. This has two 140 millimeter fans pre-installed on the front, one 120 millimeter fan pre-installed in the back, and then it's got space for a 120 or 140 in the bottom if your power supply isn't ginormous. And you can fit a 280 millimeter radiator in the top, which would be two uh, 140 millimeter fans. The front actually has a couple of optical drive bays, which is sometimes necessary. And then the optical cages can be removed. They're modular with thumb screws. So you can, if you don't want an optical drive, you pull it out and you can move the hard drive cages into that space, which allows you more room for your video card and cable management and things like that. So that is the Silent Base 800. We have a review coming on it soon. Check the site for more information and links in the description below if you want to read about these products. Uh, so that was Be Quiet Sweet, and I will see you all next time.